Hunts to go diving. It's believed there may be hundreds of undiscovered shipwrecks still off of our shores in Lake Michigan. And tonight we can take one ship off the list of missing. Fox 6's Ben Handelman with a discovery that may be one of the most significant finds ever discovered in any Great Lake. Trying to just find something. For anyone who has cast a line in the Lake Michigan, the mystery of what lies below. I do hope we get one. Draws us close to the shore. This particular story starts out with a family trip. Ross Richardson. My cousins were visiting from Georgia and they wanted to go to South Manitou Island. Lives on the other side of the lake. He spent nearly all of the summer of 2018 looking not for fish. And they were all excited. They were like, oh, we could see some shipwreck hunting, not realizing how really boring it is, you know, <laughs> 10 hours looking at a computer screen. But I said, on the way out to the island, we'll put the fish in the water and we'll kind of look around. Wouldn't you know it? After about five minutes, we ran over a small target. It wasn't big, but I knew it was something worth looking at. A blip on his screen worth returning to. A week later, I stopped by the site again on the way out to the islands with different family members. And I ran the sonar and got a little more imagery and something significant happened. Something was ringing on the sonar 90 feet off the bottom. Ross called and... Meanwhile, in Milwaukee... Said that um, he had an interesting target. Steve Weimer... I saw the, the radar images. And Cal Kothrati were sent the find. I thought, boy, it sure looks like a shipwreck. It sure looks like a schooner. The veteran shipwreck hunters have been fooled before. I don't know how many times we've gone, oh, there's a, there's a wreck and you go down and it's a rock or, you know, some other <laughs> shape that just looks like a shipwreck. The only way to be sure. Only a few divers in the entire Great Lakes could, could make this dive. Find a man who can dive nearly 300 feet deep into the lake. It's a dive, yeah, it's a, I'll go dive. <laughs> Weimer making the roughly seven hour drive to determine what was below. I stopped at right around 210, 215 feet ish. And I looked around, and it, but I didn't see anything. I kept going and probably at about 240, 250 feet, I could see the ship. That was, and I'm right over the bow. With his camera rolling. I was like, okay, yeah, we definitely ship, definitely ship. Weimer could not believe his eyes. I just kind of swam along the port side towards the stern and from there I could see the cabin. So once I saw the cabin, uh, that was where I was like, whoa. Standing 90 feet upright, the ship's masts are perfectly intact from the wheel to the cabin, planks, even the hatches are all in place. When I saw the lifeboat, because it's right off the stern of the ship, um, I was speechless. I just was like, wow, this is amazing. Just, I can't believe it. From aboard their boat. This is the most intact shipwreck I've ever seen. It's just beautiful. The men sent images of their find back to Milwaukee. Every picture I looked at that was sent to me in the text just kept showing me more and more intact. And I'm like, oh my goodness. An incredible find with even bigger questions. I'm a shipwreck nerd, so I study this. I mean, that's what I do when I have a chance. I sit down, I go through old records. So I know about everything missing, and I knew there was nothing in the area that really matched this vessel, so I knew we had a real mystery. There were hints, including a distinct shape in the front. We had a vessel here that you know, probably had Wisconsin roots. The clipper, a lot of clipper brows were made in Wisconsin and Manitowoc and Milwaukee. So, okay, that's kind of a clue there. He poured over so many thousands of documents, came up with a short list. And of course, I started at A, and it took me to W, and I found one, and I was like, oh, son of a gun. And they had a picture of it. The mystery ship is a mystery no more. What's the vessel? The W.C. Kimball. It was built in 1888 in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. It was sold to parties a year later in Northport, Michigan. It was traveling from Manistee with a load of salt, had barrels of salt in the hold, and cedar shingles on the deck. And they were heading to Northport and Traverse City to deliver these. The captain first made a newly hired deckhand, and one passenger made four on board. They were shorthanded on the crew but this journey would only be 50 miles, so I'm sure they were thinking, oh, we can make this, this would be a piece of cake. While they had a name, the men wondered, why is a perfectly intact wooden schooner sitting on the bottom of Lake Michigan 
What happened to her crew? A shipwreck, it, it's wrecked, it's broken. This thing settled on the bottom like a feather. This is not broken, it's perfect. That tells us that it was more than likely encased in ice. The team now believes they know what happened. We surmise that a spring, early spring gale can build a lot of sea ice on a boat. And that is heavy and it makes it unseaworthy. And once it gets submerged, now it's starting to sink. They probably lost the captain first, the head of the ship, and then the first mate after that. And then the other two guys were very inexperienced. So one by one, they were washed aboard, leaving it a ghost ship. The lifeboat on the stern, that was, again, pretty haunting because that's the first thing you're gonna go to if your ship is sinking. I think it was frozen as a block of ice, you know? It probably had two, three feet worth of ice on it, and it just settled oh so gently. You know, maybe the salt cargo helped keep it a little bit buoyant, we just don't know. For more than a century, the whereabouts of the W.C. Kimball have been a mystery. It's been found, you know, so it's not just forgotten. A discovery made nearly on accident. Now, 130 years later, it's the absolute best preserved wreck we have. We're also scanning the bottom for a perfect catch, other wreckage, for a group of shipwreck hunters, other clues, who say the search for the next great find, possibly human remains, is already underway. If you like good mysteries, this is the ultimate way of sleuthing through and actually solving mysteries. There's a purpose to what we do also, and that's sharing the history. Ben Handelman, Fox 6 News. Absolutely remarkable. The men credit the Marine Collection at the Milwaukee Public Library and the Wisconsin Marine Historical Society for helping in their research, which was clearly thorough. Do you want to learn more about shipwrecks in our area? It is fascinating. Just head to the link section at fox6now.com.